Uh, shalom, shalom, all praises be unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshai, Bashem, Rakaq, Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone who are well into us his truth. Um, shalom to the 144,000 and the rest of the elects, man. This is just a quick one. And um, I saw this clip uploaded um, from the elder over here in England, the elder of Um <clears throat> GMS for the most size seven guard is the page and um it's just a screen recording man and um, you know <laughs> it kind of sparked me um to uh kind of like do a response to the screen recording that he's uploaded here um because hey man we're seeing the prophecies come to pass you know and it's from um geoff buys cars is the page on YouTube and the title um, of the video is they are coming for your car and insurance insider speaks out. Okay, so uh, Lord willing, the sound comes through. Take a, look, a listen to this. So there you have it, man. Um, <laughs> there you have it. Run it back a bit. Yeah, so you got adverse views or, you know, bucking up against the grain of um, the, the general idea and direction that um, society is moving in, you know, you can't you can't drive your car, okay, and they'll they'll be able to turn it off, man, from RFID. That's why they're changing, um, they're changing all these um, diesel vehicles and petrol vehicles, and the idea is by twenty thirty, they want most vehicles, if not all, to be electric, okay. You know, there's certain extra charges now that's placed on cars that uh, run from a particular year and below you know and it's all a money scheme to, to deter people from driving they're cutting up roads you can't park here you can't drive down this road and if you do you're getting all kind of tickets and stuff you know it's putting people off these things but for those who do drive it's all gonna go uh, uh, uh digital man it's all gonna go electric you know a lot of what i've been seeing a lot more people are driving tesla cars out here man a lot more people are going electric okay not understanding that it, it further integrates you into uh, this man's agenda, man. You know, and if you buck up or have adverse views, you know, anything against them and their agenda, essentially, they're locking off your car and you can't drive it. You can't get in other people's car. And it's got a, a what an accuracy of a thousand meters or something, as he said. So, you know, <laughs> that's the mark of the B system. Okay, the RFID, it integrates into every aspect of life. Okay, it's going to have... Your, your bank details on there, it's going to have your rent and mortgage details on there, it's going to have your health record details on there, it's going to have your employment record details on there, it's going to have your taxing and finance details on there, it's going to have your transport details on there, 
okay whether you take car train sorry train bus you know um <laughs> flipping uber boat on the thames whatever you do and your actual driving it's all going to be integrated with this mark of the beast okay it's the mark of the beast system being put in place and he said by what 2025 okay that's basically a year away. Okay, we're what three and a bit weeks and we'll be in um we'll be into twenty twenty four. So when you think of twenty twenty three, twenty twenty three is done. You know, yeah, we still got a couple of days left, but twenty twenty three is done. You know, it's twenty twenty four now. <laughs> you know. Um where it concerns like you know, agendas and plans, like, you know, it's twenty twenty four. Okay. Three three weeks, if my math serves me correct, and you know New Year's Eve of destruction, and we'll be in uh two thousand uh two thousand four two thousand twenty four, so so there you have it, man, you know, okay um, wow, um, in fact before I get that I wanna do um, uh, this is Second Ezra chapter fifteen verse seventeen, and it says a man shall desire to go into a city, and shall not be able. Okay, not be able why because um they're gonna start locking things off now they're putting things into zones, and 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 catchment areas they're actually calling places zones, you know I remember doing a lesson a couple of months ago how they they were debating it on LBC which is a a radio station leading Britain's conversation, and they were discussing social groups you know putting people into groups group A group B group C. You can be only be outside when it's group A's turn if you're in group A, respectively, with B and C. And if you're caught outside when it's not your group's goal, then you get fined and things of that nature. 15-minute cities. It's all popping off. It all comes together from all these various angles to fulfil prophecy. Namely, the mark of the beast prophecy. Okay? But, but not being able to travel is one of those things, man. You know, we can jump in the car. You know, and and drive up the motorway and be in the Midlands in a couple of, couple of hours, you know, all over England, okay. But the time is coming where you won't be able to move from these various towns. You're going to be imprisoned in these in these uh, cells. That's another name they were calling areas. So instead of calling areas towns, they were calling them cells, man. You know, in the in the in the planned agendas. So everyone's going to be in their cells, and you can only go outside at a particular. T- this is the direction things are going in okay so we can clearly see second of 15 and 17 coming to pass and man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able when they turn off your car via the rfid you're not able to travel you're not able to get around you're not able to jump in the car and drive wherever you want to drive because they're going to have that have the, that that master power button whereby they, whereby they can press that and turn your shit off man you know it ain't going to be a what, what car are you pushing. You, you ain't pushing no car unless the, the government allows you to push that, that rude boy. You know? If, if the government retracts you from pushing that whip, you ain't pushing no, nothing nowhere. That car will be off, right? Power off, standby mode, and you ain't driving it nowhere, man. Okay? That's the direction they're taking, they're taking things, man. Uh... Uh, this is an article I've seen and it says most new cars sold in the UK will have to be fully electric by 2030. Government confirms. It says the government has confirmed the majority of new cars sold in Britain will have to be electric by 2030. Despite Rishi Sunak's decision last week to delay a ban on petrol and diesel cars by five years. Um, under the long awaited zero emissions vehicle mandate, 80% of sales must be fully electric or another alternative within seven years car makers would have to pay fifteen thousand pounds for each petrol or diesel engine above the that threshold the department for transport said on thursday so these companies ain't going to be willing to pay 15 bags per per car they're not going to do that so what they're going to do as an alternative they're going to start making more um uh electric cars man okay um I mean, I could read the rest of this, but you get the point, man. You know, it's good to tell you some more intricate stats and things of that nature. And they keep saying 2030, 2030, 2030. Really, they're trying to um, get these things done within 2030, you know. You know, they're not going to just put everything into the year 2030, 
you know, and you're going 365 days within 2030, you know, um, as within every year. So when they say Agenda 2030, it, it's really talking about achieving these things inside of 2030, which means from 2024 onwards, which really meant from 2023 onwards. Agenda 30, me, to, uh, 30 means all these things being done by uh, 2030. Now, we don't believe we'll still be here, but the point is they're going to speed things up because they've got an agenda, okay? Um, Revelation 13 and 16, and it says, And he calls if all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in the right hand on their forehead. So what they're going to start doing now is, again, they're going to factor in um, the RFID with the cars, which they which they are saying they will do. They'll turn the, the car off. But then you, the driver, you, the owner of the car, um, you're going to have to have the the complementary good, a.k.a. the RFID, to work your car. So if, if, if you don't have the RFID, but your car is RFID-based, then you can't drive it. So it's, it becomes a causation. People, you know, take the chip or don't drive. Don't be able to, to commute. Now, if you drive to work, right, and you say, well, I need to drive to work, well, then people are going to start giving in. So we can very rapidly see and clearly see that if you buck up against this chip, you're going to be excommunicated out of society. Now, we have faith, Lord willing, it increases and grows and stays strong in the Lord that we won't take this. But for the people that don't have this truth, they're going to fold and take it. That's the causation. The causation is backing you up into a corner in every single aspect of life to get this chip. Okay, verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell save either had the mark or the name or the beast or the number of his name. So there you have it, man. You know, the RFID MOTB uh, system, you know, is in place with the cars now, man. So, yeah, like I said, I was inspired to just do this quick um, response um, to the elders' uh, uh, re-upload of that, that small clip there. But... Um, yeah, man, the prophecies are coming to pass. Anyways, with that, I'm out, man. Shalom.